Hey, good morning. It is 710 here on your Tuesday when we're recording this. It is a weather alert day that does center around this cold front that's moving through, but it doesn't include this activity that we're seeing at the moment. This will likely start to move on into mid Missouri as a shower potential uh, for a few folks. This uh, round kind of expected to dissipate over the next couple of hours, but eventually we'll kind of see this cold front start to kick up more thunderstorm activity later in the day, and that's what our weather alert day is for here on your Tuesday. So let's get a quick look at the track again. And some of that activity starting to fall apart throughout the morning hours here as it moves on in in the northern half of mid Missouri, likely some showers, maybe a few rumbles of thunder, but eventually we'll start to see again this cold front start to kick up more thunderstorm activity between two to three, four o'clock, and then by five to six o'clock we're likely seeing some strong to severe storms moving on into the viewing area here. And notice it's a slow movement. A lot of these storms kind of carrying to the northeast with their movement, their progression from west to east is largely dependent on how fast that cold front can push it through and it will likely be quite some time before it does so that likely taking all the way through the early morning hours of your Wednesday before we see uh, it make progress all the way through to I-44 but for Tuesday night we're going to encompass just about the entirety of the viewing area here in a level two out of five on the storm prediction center's risk scale again anyone in yellow here seeing the potential for not only damaging winds and uh, some uh, large hail but also the potential for some heavy rain also we're going to be tracking that potential for you as well. Can't rule out the tornado risk. It's very, very low, though. Our main concern here going to be for wind and hail with these storms. That's the most likely threat uh, presented from these. And, and again, we'll likely see with that movement from the southwest to the northeast over and over again, potentially some localized flooding with some storms training there. Uh, but as we head into the overnight hours, again, we're picking up on that thunderstorm chance. Temperatures dropping down into the 70s overnight, and that's uh, right around where we'll start uh, for your day tomorrow 70s down into the upper 60s and then Wednesday we don't recover much because of all of that rain uh, sticking around in the forecast. We'll likely keep 70s behind that front end for Thursday as well, but some drier air settling in Thursday into Friday, and that'll carry us into the first half of your weekend before we do start to see more chances for rain Saturday into Sunday.